So we've just been out exploring nature. We're just having some food right now. We've been learning about mini beasts. What mini beasts? What's your favorite mini beast? Tiger beetle. A tiger beetle. Ladybird. Ladybird. An elephant. Car. And a car. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. News just in. Tiger beetle, ladybird, elephant and car are the favorite mini beasts in our house. <laughs> that I'm hiding in these bushes is not to hide from my three kids Be you. because they've already found me sadly but it's to find mini beasts I'm looking for places that are dark and damp because as it says in the exploring nature with children curriculum that we're using they're going to be the best habitats to look for mini beasts now the great thing about mini beasts is that you can find them anywhere just like seeds last week you could walk in your kitchen and eat some seeds you can probably maybe not because maybe you don't have dusty corners in your house but I do, you might be able to find some mini beasts in your house. Like we found this spider and we looked and we zoomed right in, we could see the stripes on the spider's body, but we also wondered if it maybe had an injury because as you can see, it kept sliding down a little bit down the wall. So look around you, keep your eyes open, look for some clues and see what you find this week. So speaking of spiders, here's a spider's web that we made outside. You could either weave different natural items in the web or you could build some mini beasts like we did using the things that you find on your nature walk. So we use twigs and stones and some little lime seed eyes there for our spider. So we've been looking around for some clues for mini beasts and we found some right here lots of holes in these leaves so we investigated a little bit further i'm going to show you we found the culprit can you spot the mini beast that's been making all of these holes let's zoom in a little bit can you see it there it is that little black caterpillar has been nibbling on these leaves we actually spotted quite a few there it is let's see if you can see this next one so have a look can you spot it Let's zoom in again, there it is, inching its way along that twig. You can see it's six legs on the front. And one thing we like to do is take pictures and video of things that we see outside so that when we go home, we can do some research without having to carry the poor caterpillars home with us. Then we spotted some more clues on the ground. We saw some worm casts. Can you see those little wiggly mounds on the ground? And that's where the worm has pushed out the soil that it's digested out through its body as it's gone into the ground. These next clues are not from a mini beast, but because we were working hard at observing, we spotted these patches in the ground and it led us to find the culprit here. It was a hedgehog. Can you spot it there? Sadly, this hedgehog had died, but it was really interesting to see what we could notice because we were looking hard for clues. Here are some more clues. Now, this is your challenge. What are they? And why does the acorn look like this? See if you can find out and let me know in the comments below. Before I ask you our big question for today, we're going to warm our brains up a little bit. We've done this activity before. It's really easy. All you need to do is clap when I clap. If I clap, you clap. If I don't clap, you don't clap. You ready? <laughs> Let's have another go. So only clap when I clap. If I don't clap, you don't clap. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Let's do it a few more times. <laughs> Let's have another go. Focus. Only clap when I clap. If I don't clap, you don't clap. <laughs> Last time, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, well done. Try that at home with each other and see if you can get your brains ready and focused for our big question. So the thing about mini beasts is they're really, well, mini. They're very, very small and there are lots of them around and sometimes we can kind of think like they're not a big deal. They're not that important. They're insignificant. Insignificant would mean that they're not important. Ezra, what do you think? Well, there's a lot of important things like spider be spider well and flies which helps control the population. Yeah, they can help control the population of other things like dragonflies and that, eat mosquitoes and, and mosquitoes that eat and mosquitoes sometimes carry diseases and what do you eat? Brambles. Brambles are mini beasts. So why are mini beasts important for your fruit? 
because they pollinate it. Brilliant, because some mini bees pollinate the plants and then grow things that we can eat. So they're a really important part of the ecosystem. So it's really important not to discount something just because of its size. When I was in school, I was always the smallest, not just the smallest in the class, like the smallest in the school. And I was very quiet as well. And people really just didn't kind of ignore me, I guess, sometimes. I could kind of hide away a little bit in the background. But it's important to know that whatever size you are, however quiet or loud you are, whatever you might be good at or that you might still be working on, improving on, that you are not insignificant. But I do wonder, are there any times when you feel insignificant, when either you're made to feel unimportant or that you feel unimportant because some of the things that you think? Share that with your family and then think about ways that you can make sure people know that they are not insignificant, that they are really significant, that they're really important. Lots of mini bees hibernate during the winter. So at one of our nature clubs, we made some mini beast hotels. We recycled some mugs that we'd been donated and we jam packed it full with lots of natural items. One reason why you want to get lots stuck in is because they will decompose and you don't want it to get loose in there for the mini bees. And then we set them up ready for the mini bees to have a sleepover. Next up is a little quiz. I'm going to show you a picture of a mini beast but zoomed really, really close into it and see if you can guess what it is as I zoom out and see who's the first to guess the mini beast. enjoyed making these edible mini beast habitats we crushed biscuits added chocolate custard and some gummy worms or maybe you can make some edible spiders like these are you ready for a three two one challenge we're going to give you some things to spot while you're out and about it doesn't have to be on a big nature hike it can be just stepping outside your door and seeing what you can see looking out the window watching a nature documentary or just on your way to the shops whatever it might be so here it is three mini beast habitats. Can you find three mini beast habitats? Find different habitats. Can you find two mini beasts? And number one, can you do something that helps someone not feel insignificant? So can you do something that helps someone who maybe doesn't feel important know how they're important? So three mini beast habitats, two mini beasts and one Thing to make someone feel important. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. let's go. Thanks so much for joining us this week. And before you go, see if you can spot how many spiders are about to appear in this next picture.